film starts with a town where there was a festival day, which everyone was celebrating. The name of this festival was Thanksgiving. The town's sheriff comes to her friend's house and meets her and her husband. He had also brought a gift for her, which her friend likes a lot. She brought it inside so that she could eat with them. Sheriff's friend's husband was a Matka manager. Her boss, the Matka master, calls her to work, on which her family was very angry because today was a holiday and he was still going to get her to work. Now we were shown the Matka master, who was a very big businessman. He had put up a sale at his Matka on Thanksgiving. That's why people were standing outside the Matka and waiting impatiently. The Matka master was eating very comfortably in his house. Here his daughter Jessica was also present with her friend. So her friends come there to pick her up. That's why she comes with her friend Bobby and sits in his car. These people decide to go to Jessica's dad's Matka so that they can see what the situation there is. When they reach there, Jessica meets her college fellow who liked her. Now, because Jessica was the daughter of the Matka master, she and her friends are sent inside. The people standing outside felt very bad about this, especially a boy and a woman. They were speaking in a lot of anger. They knocked down the barrier gate there, so that all the people started entering. And in a moment, there was chaos there. And now people start picking up all the stuff, as if it is free. In this rush, a lot of people fall and die. To get the stuff, these people had gone so crazy that they didn't care who was dying and who was alive. The sheriff's friend was also pushed so that he fell down. His head burst like a bullet. So much blood flowed that he died on the spot. When Bobby went to help an injured man, someone put his foot on his hand. His heart broke so that the poor man himself was injured. And after this, the story is shown a year later. It was Thanksgiving. Everyone was very scared. It seemed that Jessica's dad would put up the barrier again. And just like last year, this year too, a massacre would start. That is, massacres. People would be ended in the knowledge of things. Jessica's friend made a video and put it on the internet, which became very famous. But Jessica's dad was not going to stop yet. He decides to open the market again and put up the barrier, so that he can earn more money. But like the rest of the people, Jessica didn't want this either because she had seen people dying with her own eyes in the market. And that woman, who was the most angry last year, she had now become a waitress, where she is told by the sheriff that a new deputy is coming to this town. And now when the deputy comes here, he starts looking at a mask lying there. Then the waitress tells him that this is the first mask of our town's guardian, whose name was John. He was a very good person, so everyone respected him a lot. In his memory, everyone puts on their mask on Thanksgiving Day. Now when Jessica was with her friends, they get a notification. When she checks it, she sees that a person named John has sent a notification to all of them. And he has tagged all his friends. He has sent a picture of a table on which all their names were written. Now he thought that maybe someone was joking with us. That's why everyone ignores this thing. When Jessica's eyes came out there was a man standing there. Wearing Governor John's mask who was staring at her. But the next moment he disappears from there. At night when the waitress started closing the door, who was angry on the day of the sale, she sees John's mask there. She started thinking, who could this mask belong to? That's when the ender comes wearing John's mask. He attacks the waitress. He first puts water on her face. Then he sticks her face with the fridge. After that, he goes to take his axe so that he can end her. But in the meantime, the waitress frees herself and starts running away from here. But the ender sees her. The waitress tries to hide in the dustbin there but the ender sits in the car and hits her with the car. This causes two parts of the waitress's body and she dies there. After doing this, he puts half of her body on the marquee building to instill fear in people. First of all, the waitress makes the woman a victim who was angry on the day of the sale and came the most in the video. That is, he pushed a lot of people to get free stuff. When the police found out about this, they come here to investigate. They saw the CCTV footage, but because everyone in town wore a mask on Thanksgiving, they couldn't find out who the ender was. Seeing this, Jessica calls her dad. She says, Dad, you shouldn't open the door now because a woman has been murdered. Her dad says nothing will happen. I will keep extra security, but I will open the door anyway. On which Jessica and her friend get very scared. Then they find a weapons dealer. He says, if you want guns or any other weapons, you can buy it from me. Now Jessica and her friend go to the police station. They start telling them that according to us, the ender is ending those who were involved in the last massacre. On this, Sheriff Jessica says that if you think so, then bring us the video footage of that massacre because I know that your dad will have it. This will make us know whose life is in danger, so we will inform them in advance. Then Jessica and her friend get ready. When she comes out, she meets Bobby. He tells her that all of us are in danger. 
So all of us have to stay together so that the Ender can't reach us. Now at night the Ender went to a guard's house, who saw the crowd of people that day and ran away. The Ender removes his head with a sharp knife which leads to his terrible death. Then he puts his severed head in the bag and takes it with him. The next morning, the Ender again tags all his friends, and sends them the same post, which was nothing but a severed head of the guard which was kept on the same table where all these friends' names were written. This made everyone very nervous because they understood that the Ender would end us too. The police investigate a lot but still they can't find out who the Ender is. Now Jessica sends the video footage of the massacre from her dad's laptop to Sheriff secretly. Then Sheriff tries to find out whose life is in danger and who is safe. In one picture, they see Jessica's friend who was hugging the same dead guard. Seeing this, they feel that Jessica's friend's life is in danger too. And that Ender goes to a gym trainer who was also there that day. Jim Trainer's friend was a cheerleader, who calls her to her and starts jumping on the jumping pad. But then the Ender twists the Jim Trainer's neck. His nose started bleeding and that's when he dies. When his friend cheerleader was jumping, the Ender stabs her with a sharp knife. Two parts of her body became painful and she also dies. After this incident, the college was closed, while Jessica's two friends are told to stay in the college. When they were alone, the Ender kidnaps them. Then he goes to Jessica. He was about to catch her, but then she runs away. She goes and hides in the makeup room which the Ender starts looking for everywhere. But as he comes near the makeup room, Jessica sprays him and starts running away. When the police heard her scream, the Ender ends Jessica. Now when Bobby and Jessica's class fellow found out that the Ender had tried to attack her, they both come to meet her. But here they both are attacked. Jessica stops them and tells them to stay away from her. Jessica's friend goes to the weapons dealer and buys him a gun so that he can protect himself. Now the Ender enters Jessica's friend's house. He first ends the security guard but when his dad sees the Ender, he also shoots him and ends him. Only Jessica's friend was left alive to whom her friend video calls. He asks her, are you okay? Now I'm at the place where they say yes, I'm fine. You don't worry about me. During the call, the Ender comes from behind and stabs her in the ear, causing her to bleed. So she starts running away. Her friend saw all this on the video call, so she immediately came to her friend's house to save her life. Jessica shows all this to her other friends. The Ender started saying, your friend is in my custody. After which he drops the girl on a blade. Two pieces of her body were left, and that's where she dies. Seeing all this, Jessica's dad decides that now I will not open the mark because so many people were dying there and her daughter's life was also in danger. Sheriff advises them that we should participate in the Thanksgiving function because there will be a lot of crowd there. The Ender will definitely come there. Everyone agrees. The next day, when they were at the function, the Ender really comes here. He removes a man's neck and ends him. Then he starts throwing smoke bombs there, scaring everyone to run away. There is chaos everywhere, after which the Ender wakes up his friend and mom and dad and kidnaps them too. When Jessica's mom opens her eyes, she finds herself lying on the table. She sees that the Ender is preparing the Ender's sauce. Now the Ender started applying oil all over his body so that he could apply the sauce and marinate it because he wanted to roast Jessica's mom. When he went to get his second mask, Jessica's mom freed herself and started running away from there. When she does not find her on the table, she starts looking for her everywhere with a fork. Jessica's mom goes to hide in the freezer but the Ender had already kept the cheerleader's body there, but the Ender had already seen her. He hits her with a fork from behind and injures her first, then puts her in the oven. He opens the oven fully. Jessica's mom starts roasting, and like this, she also dies. Now the Ender started making his live video in which he had imprisoned Jessica and those people. Then he puts everyone on the table. The police reach there after seeing the location of the video, but they see that there is nothing here. Actually, the Ender had put the wrong location. He was playing a game with all of them. Now he makes a second live video. He brings his food in front of Jessica and the rest of the people, which was nothing but Jessica's mom's roasted corpse, which everyone got scared and started screaming. The Ender tells them that the idea of selling and giving free things was Jessica's mom's. That's why I roasted her and did this. And now you will have to eat her flesh. During the conversation, Jessica frees herself. And her friend had also freed himself. The Ender starts chasing her when she starts running away from there. He starts hitting Jessica's friend, which hurts her a lot. Then he goes to Jessica, who had crossed the net and gone that way. That means she ran away from here. When she reaches ahead, Sheriff finds her unconscious there. When she goes into the building, she sees Bobby, who was removing the John mask. That's why Jessica understands that. Bobby is the Ender who is ending everyone. Bobby is doing all this. 
Hearing this, Sheriff starts shooting him, which Bobby runs away from here. The police go to catch him, while the rest are saved. Sheriff tells Jessica that, we couldn't save your friend and mom, but your dad and other friends have been saved and sent to the hospital. Soon they will be fine. And now Jessica sees dirt on Sheriff's shoes. She was shocked because she understood that the ender was not Bobby. Sheriff also found out that Jessica has found out my truth. That's why he tells her that you shouldn't have gone to the jungle alone. Saying this, Sheriff closed the door and now he goes ahead to end Jessica. She asks Sheriff, why did you do this? Then Sheriff tells her that I had been alone all my life. I got the hope of love, who was my friend. She and I loved each other very much. She was going to leave her husband and marry me soon. Suddenly she fell down and she died. This made me alone again. That's when I decided that I wouldn't leave anyone. I didn't doubt myself. So I started ending everyone wearing John's mask so that I couldn't take my revenge. As soon as she finished, Jessica showed him the phone and thanked him. Then she told him that. I recorded what you just said and that's when Bobby came and saved her. He took Jessica and ran away. They sat in the truck and left. When they came to a place, Jessica started filling gas in a big balloon so that she could fly. As soon as Sheriff came to end them, Jessica shot at the gas balloon which caused an explosion and fire. Sheriff got burned in it, which made him think that he might have died too. After that, the police came here and started looking for Sheriff and firemen who extinguished the fire. When they asked, the fireman told the officer that he didn't find anything other than ashes. This didn't confirm that Sheriff was dead or alive. When Jessica was sleeping at night, she had a dream where she thought that Sheriff was hiding in her closet. But when she went to see the closet, there was no one there. But the real thing was that Sheriff was still alive. And with this horrific ending, the story of this movie also ends here. Thanks for your time.